So in order to turn it on, in the processing method, use the scroll bar to go up just a little bit more and you should see a section that's called system suitability. Immediately below that, there is a properties area. Select that properties area. And then to the right, you now have separation performance computation. Currently, the column performance is set to none. I want to select that pull down menu and select it for all peaks instead of none. And once again, select it to USP. Just click that checkbox immediately to the left of the USP. And then you'll notice that a row is filled out in the column parameters down below. So we need to fill out some other information here. For the void time, we're going to put the void time in as 0 0.1 minutes. And the length we're going to put as 0.1 meters. Now, how did I come up with this? Or how will you come up with this in your laboratory? I will refresh your memory that every single column you ever get, whether it's a GC column or an LC column, comes with a certificate of analysis. That certificate of analysis contains this information for you to be able to fill this in, and this will now be locked in and indelibly linked to this method. So that's where you get the information. Now, with this information filled out and system suitability properties activated for this method, Select the reprocess all again in the upper ribbon. Reprocess all. And it's very important that you use the reprocess all and not just try to process one injection at a time. And that is because the reprocess all is required because the custom calculator is a program that is never engaged until all analyses is completed. So if you tried to do a partial processing, if you right mouse clicked on that first injection and went to process only selected injections, the custom calculator would never engage because it hasn't finished all of those injections. So if you're using a custom calculation file, you have no other choice. You must reprocess all in order for it to engage the custom calculator at the end of that final injection. <clears throat> and now notice down below, in the injection results, we have our two custom calculation columns, the USP resolution and the area percent. But also notice our resolved USP has got numerical values filled in. And for the very first injection, I've got a failure on the first or on the RLM test two and three peaks because they are below my USP resolution of 13. But my last one is above the USP resolution of, of 13, and it marks it as passed on my injection results table. 